man. Reuben Smith, sports. Reuben Smith on the scene. Good evening, and I'm Reuben Smith, and welcome to our Antarctica special. An almost mile-long landforms lie hidden beneath the Antarctic ice sheet, and these supersized subglacial masses may be contributing to the ice's thinnings, according to a new study. Ancient ice sheets in Scandinavia and North America that have long since retreated left behind numerous landforms that scientists have studied to learn how they impacted the ice sheets above. However, such formations have not been observed under modern day ice sheets until now. You can read more about this on our website. Oh, we don't have a website? Anyway, Reuben Smith is on the scene at Antarctica discovering the history of the continent. Over to you, Reuben. Around 200 million years ago, Antarctica was joined with Australia, Africa, South America, India, and New Zealand. In the supercontinent Gondwana. 10 million years later, Gondwana began the enormously slow process of breaking into the pieces we recognize today, and the continents, subcontinent, and islands began moving into their present positions. By about 70 million years ago, the continents were becoming widely separated and what is now known as the Drake Passage opened. After making its final detachment from the Australian continent about 40 million years ago, Antarctica settled into its present polar position and began to cool dramatically. The Portuguese made the first important penetration south, beginning with a naval voyage in 1487 to 1488, led by Bartholomew Diaz de Nofes and Yol Infante, who sailed around the southern tip of Africa, Cape Oglahas, as far as present-day Mozambique. Their voyage opened the way for another naval expedition, led by Vasco de Gama, in 1497 to discover the way around Africa to India. These expeditions proved that if there was a great southern continent, it was not attached to Africa. Antarctica was a mysterious place, place whose extent was originally imagined to be enormous. It was thought to cover the whole southern ocean and connect to the southern extremes of the known continent. Thanks, Reuben. In other news, Antarctica food expert Elijah is being interviewed by Reuben. Over to you, Reuben. I'm here with Professor, Professor Elijah, who's going to tell us all about Antarctic food chains. A simple Antarctic food chain is a secret to the success of baleen whales. Keep the chain short and transfer as much energy efficiently as possible. So how big are baleen whales? Whales are the largest animals ever to have lived. Larger than the largest dinosaurs. There are two reasons that they have managed to attain such enormous size. Well over a hundred tons for the largest blue whales and nearing this amount for some other whale species. Well I guess that's it from here. Back to you Ruben. Jeez I need some hot chocolate and my slippers. That concludes our news report. See you next time. Got what I was going to say. A simple Antarctic food chain is the secret to success of a bunny whale. Keep the chain. Mum? Yeah. Uh, your hand's in the way. I can't see the words. Hang on. Do it again. Hang on. What, from the beginning? Yeah. Oh. 
Whales are the largest animals to, uh, to have Oh, come on! Like, can't! Just can't! <laughs> Whales are the largest animals ever to have lived. Larger than the largest dinosaur. Right, hang on, can we just cut that, please? Because I said go and then he immediately started. Oh. I meant go.